So what I'm doing right now is I'm making, I made a nice ribeye, nice fat ribeye, cooked in the beef tallow. I put some uh, these collagen peptides in my coffee. You know, you got the grass-fed butter and all that. You got some honey in the coffee. I got this electrolyte drink that I'm going to drink later on today. Uh, that should kind of get me nice and hydrated. Going to get extra hydrated. Going to have some eggs with this steak. And I'm just trying to do everything I can to just get my brain working the way I want it to do. So, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm not a good test taker either. That's the problem. I'm not a good test taker. I've been studying hard, though. I'm not crazy hard. I haven't been studying, like, relentlessly. But I've been studying every day. Been doing this test packet every single day. Even wrote down, like, if they have a question, like, what do you do? I have it that in there. So, yeah, man, I've just been studying this book. The cool thing about this test is it's open book. I can't bring this one in because i got to highlight it up. But I have another one. Sorry, that's my daughter's. I have another one right here that's kind of tabbed up that I borrowed from one of my buddies at work. And he's a level three. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to, like I said, I'm going, going for my level one. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm just, I haven't, and I actually haven't taken a test in I don't know how long. But like I said, I'm not the best test taker. But I'm gonna eat this steak up. Um, I'm gonna have probably one more meal after this later on in the day. And yeah, man, I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know how it goes tonight. Cause I'll probably find out the results tonight sometime. The test is at 5:45 this evening, which I thought was kind of late. But I'm like, you know what? I can get. All, I need all the time I can get. Just that study a little hard and. Uh, just get some last things done. I still got to print the confirmation email and all that stuff, which I had no idea I had to do until uh, the guy that actually got me the job um, told me, hey man, did you print your confirmation and all that stuff? I'm like, no. He's like, yeah, dude, you need to go do that. They're going to tell you, they're going to fucking not let you take their test. I'm like, oh shit. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I even got a couple alpha brain packets just to get the brain firing extra hard. What else we got? Oh, we got a piece of some, some dark chocolate. I eat that right before the test just to get the brain just firing on all cylinders. And I got this date chocolate too. It's like made from like date sugar. It's actually really good. My, my wife and kids don't like it, but I fucking love it. That came out pretty perfect. That came out pretty perfect. I don't like it super pink. Like I don't like my steak bloody. But I like it pink. I do want to show y'all a couple extra things, okay? It has nothing to do with the test I got to take or anything like that. But it has everything to do with... We got a lot of new ones since we, uh, since our last convo. <laughs> um, I got some classics in here, man. The Thing, uh, you already know about the Warriors. Taxi Driver, Terminator, of course. I got Halloween. That's kind of hard to come by these days, I feel like. Predator. Already had Total Recall. Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. Um, Jim. You're the man, Jim. You're the man. This is my favorite movie. This is, to in my eyes, the greatest movie of all time. Because it's got a little of everything. It's got a little bit of comedy. It's got some horror in there. Um, but by, by the very end, to me, even, well, no, Miss Ratchet, she's a, she's a crazy bitch. She's a crazy old bitch. So yeah, it's this is a it's a mix between everything. Action, comedy, horror, suspense, all that good stuff, man. Um, I got Bullet. Just got that the other day. Classic. V for Vendetta. I don't know for some reason. I've never seen this movie before ever. But something told me to get just order this movie. I've never seen it before, but I feel like the like the ideas in this movie is my way of like thinking for real. Fight Club, got the good addition. What else we got back here? We got 
Uh, I've got The Godfather, Plast of Glory. That's a uh, Kubrick movie. Spartacus, that's another Kubrick. Doctor Strange Love. I've got all the good, you know, Kubrick movies. There's a couple more that I want to get. Full Metal Jacket, I got that. The Shining, I've already had that. I got, I picked up Raising Arizona and Fargo. Watched Fargo last night for the first time. That movie is intense. Now it says, in the beginning of the movie, it says it's based on a true story. I looked into that and it's not really based on a true story. Like all the facts in that movie are not true. But it says everything in the movie is true except for the names, which that's, that's a lot. But yeah, man, I got a lot of good stuff. I got some more coming in today. I got Alien 1 and 2 coming in today. So I'm excited for that. I'll probably watch that tonight. I want to figure out if and when I pass my test, my level one test. I want to watch a movie, hang out with the wife, have a nice meal, probably have another steak, and just celebrate. I don't want to drink no alcohol or anything like that. I haven't, you know, I've been trying to actually not drink alcohol for... And I never had a problem with alcohol, but I just am trying to not have alcohol for the rest of my life, for real. So it is the day after my test, my level one NYSED test, and I fail. My score, to get, to, to get a passing score, you have to get a 500 or above, and I got a 472. So I failed. And I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't like, I don't, I don't cry over things like that, but I cried, dude. I cried for a second because I'm like, I don't know, man. That was kind of, my, I was kind of depending on that. To, really, I just feel like I let my family down a little bit just by, you know, failing like that. So right now I'm making $17 an hour doing what I'm doing. And that would have bumped me up to about 26 bucks an hour. Not about, it would have bumped me up to $26 an hour. And I was kind of thinking when I walked in there, I was already thinking that I passed. I was already, my mindset was that I already passed the test. And it wasn't like I, have, I wasn't studying. I was studying every day, multiple times a day with my wife and all that stuff. And you know, thank God for my wife even just studying with me like that every day. But I don't know, man. I just feel like a failure and I hate failing. That's the thing. I don't mind failing because failing, you, you grow from failing. And maybe failing this will make me better as a, as a lead inspector later on in the future. But man, I really wanted that to pass. So, I'm just gonna have to go even harder, study even harder and more, and just go over it and over it, make flashcards and, you know, little post-it notes and all that stuff, tabs and all that. And that's what I just went and did. I just went and bought two things of post-it notes, some highlighters, some pens, two things of tabs, you know, the little color tabs. And there is a book, it's a nice set, they call it the nice set black book. And it's like 165 bucks. But it's supposed to make it to where everything is kind of easier to locate and find and study and all that stuff. They even got practice test in there, which would help. So I think I'm just gonna have to spend that 165 just to get it, just to make sure that I pass this time. So I can take the test three times. After failing this time, I can take it again. And if I fail it the second time, I can take it another time. But if you fail it, if I fail it three times, then I have to wait six months until I can take it again. And I really don't wanna do that. So my plan is to take the test again just before Thanksgiving and you know see how it goes the problem is is the material that I was studying you know this this whole month and I guess studying for a month straight isn't really enough 
I should have been studying since I got hired as a, you know, an inspector helper, as a helper inspector. I should have been studying from that point on, but I wasn't. I underestimated the test. There was more questions than I thought. There was less time than I thought. So I had 120, I think it was like 120 minutes to complete 115 questions. And when I got to like the fifth or sixth question, I was like, dude, this is, I didn't study any of this stuff. Like some of the stuff they were asking me, I couldn't even find in the book. And the thing is, <laughs> what makes it even worse is that it was open book. The test was open book. So I had all the material right there to pass. I mean, the book was even tabbed out. So I don't know, man, I'm just gonna, just try to move on just try to move forward and just do better i'm still mad at myself i'm still kicking myself in the ass for even failing like that and i hate to admit that i cried about it dude it wasn't like i sat there and just you know wept for like hours straight i when i walked out and i saw that i had a failing score yeah i cried for a second you know just because i hate letting my family down, like letting people down. But I guess I was just too overconfident about it. And the crazy thing is, is I even had the most brain boost in foods you can think of before the test. I had a ribeye the first thing I woke up. I had four whole eggs. I had some nice leafy greens. I had, you know, some blueberries. I had took it some alpha brain before I took the test. I hydrated. I got some magnesium and electrolytes and all that. Still failed. So maybe I overprepared and I just psyched myself out. But like I said, right when I got inside there, the questions didn't look like anything I studied. And the stuff that I studied, I was good. Like I was getting everything the top of my head I would my wife would study with me she, I had this little packet and we studied it every night multiple times in the day and I had that packet to where I knew every single thing in there I didn't miss one maybe I missed one every now and then but I got to the point where I wasn't missing any and there was 115 questions on that so I'm thinking like when I failed the test, I'm like, what can I do better that I didn't do? And it's like, I can study harder. I can get that black book and that'll help. It's just, the, the terrible, the crappy part is, man, is that this test costs 230 bucks. And the company that I work for paid for the, pays for the first test. But after you fail it, if you fail it, then you have to pay for it. And then they reimburse you if you when you pass. So now I gotta spend $165 on this black book, and then I gotta pay another $230 to take the test again. So that's already $400 right there, just gone. <laughs> so my plan is is to after rent because rent is due, I'm gonna pay rent and. Not after rent, probably the check two weeks after rent because I got to pay my electric and my water and all that stuff, all my, my phone bill and the damn car insurance and all that stuff. Once I pay all that, then I'll get that black book and then I'll study the hell out of that black book. And then come Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving time, before December around that time, I'm going to try to take the test again. And just... You know, do my best. But, yeah, I just wanted to update y'all and let y'all know how that damn test went. I was so, man, I was so. Anyway, all right, y'all.